Hello and welcome to a GCN indoor training session. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of tempo work, a little bit of sweet spot work and a little bit of over FTP for the next 30 minutes. Now, if you're not familiar with that terminology, basically we're going to be doing some nice steady riding and then squeezing a little bit harder and then a little bit harder again. And the amount of time that we're doing that for is going to increase as the session progresses. Right now though, I just want you to turn the pedals nice and gently because we're going to do a progressive warm up. We got 20 seconds now until I want you to just lift the intensity a little bit more so that we're starting to get our bodies ready for the hard work to come. So think about maybe just changing down one gear or increasing the resistance on your indoor trainer. Ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Lift it up. So effort level four, We're gonna be just putting a little bit more pressure on the pedals, it's still comfortable, but gonna be starting to breathe a little bit harder. Now joining me on this indoor training session, we've got Hank and we've got Maddie up front and we've got Morgan and we've got Katie in the second row. So if you're ever unsure about what you're doing, we've got the graphics on screen and you can also look at any of us to see what you're meant to be doing. Right then, in the next 30 seconds, we're gonna increase the tempo a little bit more. Just lift that intensity. We wanna start getting your heart rate going a little bit more, getting your breathing going a little bit more. We're pressing on the pedals quite hard now. Effort level six, feels good, shouldn't hurt at all, but you definitely know you're working. Okay, ready? We're going up in five, three, two, one, here we go. One minute now at effort level six. Like I said, this is just a warm up, but these intensities are what we're gonna be riding at throughout the course of today's session. Okay, another 30 seconds at this. The mix of hard work we're doing today is gonna to be really beneficial for building the size of your engine. So we're not working on our turbos, we're working on building our anaerobic, our aerobic engine rather. This is what's gonna count for those big long rides, those big long climbs. Okay, now we're really working. Lift the level to level eight. You wanna be starting to get pretty out of breath at this point. You're not at max, nowhere close, but you definitely wouldn't wanna stay at this kind of intensity for very long. But fortunately, you've only got another 30 seconds left before we back it off and get ready for another round of those intervals. Still keeping it short to begin with. Okay, 20 seconds, then we're gonna back it off. Okay, and easing off in five, three, two, one. Okay, right, right back to level one now. Okay, should be a little bit out of breath after that. But those are short intervals, so we're gonna be ready for some hard work. You ready, folks? Yeah. Ready, excellent. Let's go. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna repeat that ramp. Short duration again, so not sticking too long at each effort level working through nice and quickly, then we're gonna back off again. Things will get a little bit longer as we continue to progress. So it will get a little bit harder, but right now, just concentrate on those nice, light feet, just turn the pedals over. We're gonna be increasing the intensity again. In five, three, two, one. Okay, 
effort level five now. So you can pick your cadence or whatever you prefer to pedal at in terms of pedaling speed. At this kind of medium intensity, I'm gonna be looking at about 80 to 90 RPM. So I'm currently at 82. We're here for two minutes in total. You've already done 30 seconds. So this is tempo riding. So you're gonna be slightly out of breath, but you should have loads in the tank for whatever you need it. Whether that's going hard up climbs, going for a, a long, long ride. This intensity is really nice and comfortable, but you're definitely pressing on, okay? So one more minute before we're gonna go up to effort level six. So that'll be one gear, maybe one knot on your trainer, increasing the intensity. Maybe just lifting your cadence a little bit. Nice deep breaths, you got this, nice and controlled. Twenty seconds now, and we're going to lift it just a little bit. She's still below your FTP. If you're looking at power numbers, so you want to be about five to ten percent below FTP. Ready? And up we go. Just one minute at this intensity. I'm just going to increase my cadence a little bit. Get the extra power from there. This kind of effort feels really good. We've not gone into the red yet. So this is all about just pushing that aerobic capacity. Okay, and at the end of this, in 25 seconds time, we are going to go above FTP. So, 110% of FTP. It should feel hard, but sustainable, okay? The kind of pace you could ride for 10 minutes if you had to. Full gas. All right, ready everyone? Here we go. Effort level eight. I'm going to increase my cadence again. Here we go, above threshold. It's just a minute, this one. Should feel more like a tickle than an interval. That's right. Focus on keeping your body position rock solid, getting the power out. Nice fast feet. Don't get bogged down in the gear. Okay, 10 seconds left. We're gonna knock it down. Five, three, two, one. Okay, back to effort level two. So keep turning those pedals. Don't let off the gas completely, but you can use this to recover. The next set is going to be a little bit longer, okay? So three minutes at effort level five, then two minutes. So two minutes at effort level eight, it's going to start feeling a little bit intense but you should still have plenty left in the tank. There is no head banging in this session. You can head bang if you like. But I don't want you to have to peel yourself off your bike at the end of it, all right? Okay, ready to change the intensity. We're going up. 
Effort level five. Right, find the gear that you need. Like I said, this is a really sustainable intensity, this one. How you doing, folks? All good? Yeah. Getting a bit sweaty, but it's all good. Sign of form, that. That's what they say. The more you sweat, the better you are. Not entirely sure that's accurate. Probably not that scientific. <laughs> I like it, nonetheless. Okay. Remember, don't get bogged down with too low a cadence. This is effectively still part of your recovery. Okay. So good power output. Breathing rate higher than conversational. So you can talk in sentences, but not paragraphs. Don't be afraid to get out of the saddle if you want to. Stretch your legs. Take a bit of pressure off your glutes. You choose the cadence you want to ride at. Whatever's comfortable. I'm currently at 87 RPM. Okay, the next two intervals are going to be a little bit shorter than this one. So two minutes each, okay? Use this opportunity to keep on top of drinking. Okay, folks, 30 seconds, so we're gonna lift it. Remember, close to FTP. Maybe your sweet spot power, if you know what that is. Just so your breathing is fast, but not uncontrolled. I don't want anyone under pressure yet. If you feel under pressure, Back it off. We're ready, up we go. Effort level six, two minutes at this. That's it team, looking good. Looking very good. Controlled. I don't wanna see any bobbing, yeah. I don't wanna see any rocking and rolling, yeah. This is all Sub threshold, nice and controlled. It's a great way of getting some workload in without being too taxing. The next two minutes, mine, is not going to feel quite the same. You need to lift it to a point where you feel like you're riding on borrowed time. So you're not gonna be empty when you hit the end of the two minutes, but you are gonna be glad the two minutes is over. Okay, folks, think about the gear you're gonna use. I'm gonna change down one and increase my cadence up to about 100 RPM, and that should do it. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna go up to effort level eight in five seconds. And let's go. 
Down one gear. Lift your cadence. Settle in. There's nothing sprinty or max about this. But you should, as I say, feel like you're riding on borrowed time. My legs are starting to sting a little bit. That's right, you're doing great. If you find you get a bit bogged down, it's totally fine to change gear. Totally fine to get out of the saddle. You can hear my breathing. It's going up. Nine seven RPM. Nice fast feet. Let's just get through the next 20 seconds and we can back off, okay? Ten. Okay, oh, Knock it down. Don't stop pedaling. Keep those legs moving. Helps your recovery. We're gonna go back to level five, where we can keep on recovering, would you believe? It's good to know, but you'll keep recovering from those effort level eights, even when you're at level five. So don't you worry. The intervals will be three minutes on this final round. So it might get a little bit spicy on that last one. But you can do it, I know you can. Okay folks, we're gonna go back to level five in 10 seconds, okay? It's the last set of intervals. Ready, two, one, up we go. Just lift that tempo. Nice fast cadence if you want. Out of the saddle if you want. You should feel controlled, okay? Even if your legs might be a little bit wobbly after that last two minutes. Uh. But if you focus on that cadence and that intensity, I guarantee you'll feel better in the next two minutes. You guys feeling better? Yeah, yeah. last one though. No. So I want to get the maximum out of it. Yeah, that's it. This is a nice sustainable intensity, this one. You could do this for hours if you need to. So just think about bringing that breathing under control. This is like cruising along in third gear in your car, okay? Cruisy, with plenty more gears left, okay? Okay, so the next two intervals after this are going to be three minutes each. The last one is going to feel long. So I warn you now, 
but don't worry, it feels long for everyone. And you will get through it, okay? You do not need to bang your head against the wall. I want everyone feeling good after this one. Ready for a ride tomorrow or the next day. The beauty of this session is you can back it up. Because it's not going to kill you. Okay, 30 seconds team. And then we want to increase the effort level, okay? Twenty seconds to go. I'm going to knock it down a gear. You can increase your pedaling speed, increase the resistance on your trainer. I'm at level six. I'm a wahoo kicker right now. Okay, five, three, two, one. That's it. Gently squeeze. Just lift it ever so slightly. Three minutes now. Wait for your breathing to lift. Whatever well, everyone looking good. This workout might be 30 minutes, but you do a good chunk of work in it. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. Don't underestimate it. If your legs feel a little bit sore later on, don't be surprised. But you should be good to go for tomorrow. Okay, everyone. Two minutes of this one. Then we're on the last three minute interval. Where it's going to get a little bit spicy. But we can all do it. I know you can. We're on borrowed time, but you've got enough. You've got enough in the tank. Remember that. You just might need to play a few tricks on yourself to get through that three minutes, because it'll feel long, but we'll break it up and talk you through it. Okay, team, you ready for this last one? We've got a minute and then we're doing it, okay? Okay, keep that tempo nice. Don't slack off before we get there. Think of this last one as a three minute climb. You know you get to the top. There's no question about it. Then once you're at the top, it's all downhill from there. Okay, I'm gonna get my breathing under control. Getting a bit carried away before the last one. 20 seconds to go. I'm just gonna lift my cadence a bit, and that should do me. Ready, everyone? Yeah. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Three minutes to go. Settle in. You're on the red line now. Doesn't it feel good? I'm picturing, I mean, the last 500 meters of Alpduez. Just gonna squeeze it till I get to the line. Hank, where are you? Yeah, I think I'm suffering on your wheel, mate. Just hanging in there. Oh, there's a bit of incentive. I might just have to drop it down another gear. No. If Hank's on my wheel. Just holding it there with that invisible rope. 
Two minutes left. You can do this. Nice and controlled. Nothing full gas about it. That's right. You got this. 90 seconds to go. We're going to break it down. Focus on the next 30 seconds. Keep that cadence high. Nice deep breath. You're not rocking and rolling. You're the hammer and not the nail. You're on the front and not hanging in. And you can do it because there is one minute left. That's it, keep going. If you're struggling, get out of the saddle. But remember, if you're not at absolute max, it doesn't matter. Okay, nearly there. 25 seconds to go. Well done, team. 15 to go. Just ride to the stopwatch. Ride to the timer. Five. Three. No sprinting. Just get it done. There we go. Whoa. Keep pedaling if you can. Right back to effort level two. So, you can hear from my breathing. It's not max, but it's not far off, okay? But there's still enough in the tank that we can train again tomorrow. Probably a steady day, I think, or some below threshold work. Maybe a longer day if you've got time. How was that team, all good? Yeah, I found that hard actually. Yeah. But it's good, you know, I've, I felt like I worked. It's a solid workout, yeah. that. Tempo, sweet spot, Yeah. and VO2. But I'm glad I caught you on the line, so. Well, we're gonna have to go to a photo finish on that one, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I edged it. <laughs> Hey, who are we talking about? We're all teammates here. <laughs> We're all teammates. You can choose who you just out sprinted. Maybe it's Ollie Bridgman. Okay, well done everyone. So just a little bit of gentle spinning now. That all important cool down. You can jump straight off your bike, but it's better if you can just spin your legs. If you've got another five minutes after this maybe, Spin your legs a little bit more. Catch up on GCM Plus racing highlights. I can guarantee you there'll be a race on there that you haven't watched yet. Maybe flick through and see what the next documentary you're gonna watch is. If you like watching Hank suffer over the last 30 minutes, there's plenty on there. Which have you suffered the most in, Hank? Oh, that's a tough one, mate. Um, tandem lands in John O'Groats? Tandem, yeah, tandem. There you go. That'll give you a bit of inspiration for the if next If you want session. to see me crying, that's the one to watch. Yeah, that or the Penny Farthing Hour yeah. record. <laughs> but I don't think anyone needs to see that twice. No, no. You can blame Man on Lloyd for that one. You find her on Instagram. <laughs> or you can pass on messages through GCN. You know, feedback, it's cool. It's absolutely fine. Right. We're gonna call it quits there and finish our warm up in the next 25 seconds. Thank you so much for joining us. Huge congratulations if you got through that one. If you didn't quite make it all the way through that last interval, do not worry. Pacing, practice, come back, do it again. And when you come back next time, you will be stronger as well. There are also loads of different types of training sessions here on GCN Training. So make sure you have a browse through the library, find something else to complement it. Maybe go a bit steadier next time, but remember to give this 
a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it.